to demonstrate a raw cauliflower salad. I've made it so many times and people thought it was cottage cheese and some kind of wonderful dairy product, but it's vegan. It's healthy, it's simple. It only takes a couple of minutes and we'll have some fun and I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. Us humans have been using cauliflower for a long time, but only recently it has been recognized as a fantastic vitamin mineral rich item to be used in the raw state. About 12 ounces here of cauliflower, and it is raw. I got about a quarter of a cup of scallions. I'm not sure exactly how much I'll be using. A little less of celery. I'll be cutting those both down. I'm going to be grating the cauliflower by hand with this nice little grater that has several different cutting edges. I'll be using some turmeric, uh, black pepper, spink salt. Anyway, uh, you can use a mandolin as well to do the grating, but with a small amount like that it's easy enough to do with uh, a hand grater. So you have to always be very careful in cutting anything. See, I have my fingers tucked in very carefully, and I'm cutting it down with motion. My knife is in pretty sharp shape. If it's too dull, it's dangerous. If it's too sharp, it could be dangerous too, so you have to be careful about that. I got about two heaping tablespoons of scallions in there, and I'm gonna be putting in about the same amount of celery. Celery is a superfood, by the way, if you didn't know that. Uh, raw celery juice in the morning, it's supposed to be a rejuvenating tonic. Uh, organic, uh, you must use, because uh, celery is one of the dirty dozen. A lot of pesticides get into celery. So use organic celery if you're gonna use it at all. And it should be uh, used, all your vegetables are best used organic. I wasn't planning on using the raw sweet potato. It just look like a nice balance of color. I just use a pinch of pink salt. I'm going to be using about, I think, six peppercorns. Turmeric has great medicinal properties, especially when used with black pepper. That's a nice pinch. It's about no more than an eighth of a teaspoon I got going on there. It's always good to stay open to possibilities no matter what you plan, uh, things come along, it's ideas. I got about two tablespoons of, actually one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, vinegar, excuse me. Got about two tablespoons of vegan A's, which is a dairy-free, egg-free mayonnaise, very light and delicious. I really prefer it over the regular mayonnaise by much. And so, once again, never worry about exact amounts. Appreciate the whole journey on getting wherever you're going. You learn as you go, and even if you make mistakes, you learn how to fix things the next time around. And it's not intellectual at all. You really learn the value of these things as you go. It's actually a spiritual practice to be open to the unknown, to be okay with uncertainty. Great works of genius happen that way. The learning process goes on and on from the first breath to the last. We grow in happiness and in wisdom. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm-hmm, came out really, really nice. 